Now in this uh, question 103 which is using the property of uh, bulk modulus of elasticity and very standard question. The approximate depth of an ocean is uh, 2700 meter. The compressibility, now you see compressibility is just inverse of bulk modulus of elasticity. So you can use the standard formula of bulk modulus of elasticity as well. The compressibility of water is this much and density of water is 10 to the power 3 which is the standard value what fraction of compression of water will be obtained at the bottom. Now this fractional compression of water means uh, delta V upon volume that means fractional change in volume you are supposed to calculate in this question. So if you are using the standard formula that uh, bulk modulus of elasticity is K that is delta P upon delta V by V and you are supposed to use this delta V by V for this question. This is what you are supposed to calculate. Now this will be simply delta P upon K. K is bulk modulus. So, as I said the inverse of K becomes the compressibility. Now, compressibility value has been given to be 45.4 into 10 to the power minus 11. And what is this delta P? That is change in pressure. So, you can use this standard formula for change in pressure as rho GH. Now, what is rho? Rho is given to you 10 to the power 3. G value I am taking say 10 and H value has been given to you in the question as uh, 2700 meter as you can see here. So, this is 2700. You calculate all of them together and you will be getting the standard answer this 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, I am marking answer 4 for the answer of question number 103. Now, let us switch over to question number 104. Now, in this uh, question 104, which is uh, based on heat transfer and that to thermal conduction, which is straight forward formula based question. It says that the two ends of a metal rod are maintained at temperatures 100 degrees Celsius and 110 degrees Celsius. The rate of heat flow has been given to you. I can straightway use the standard equation that the rate of heat flow, say I denote by Q dot, that is equal to Ka temperature difference upon the wall thickness L. This is a standard formula for heat conduction. Now, is, you see here the rate of heat flow has been given to you 4 joule per second and the ends are maintained at temperature 100 and 110 degrees Celsius. Here you see the absolute temperature does not matter rather the temperature difference matters. The very basic thing in this question is that initially also you can see the temperature difference was 10 degrees Celsius and finally also the temperature difference which is given to be 200 and 210 you subtract that that becomes 10 degrees Celsius. So, you can see here that the temperature difference has not changed. The rest of the things are as it is K that is conductivity A is area and L. So, here we see that since the temperature difference has not changed. So, the heat flow rate that will also be remaining the same one. So, initially if it was 4 joule per second then finally also it should be 4 joule per second. So, for that matter I will be marking option 1 as the answer for question number 104. Now, let us switch over to next question that is question 105. Now, in this uh, question 105 as you see it is a straightforward application of calculus in mechanics and it reads that a particle of unit mass undergoes one dimensional motion such that its velocity varies according to the relation. You see here velocity as a function of x has been given. Here beta and n they have been given as constant and x and v they are variable. Now, it has been mentioned where beta and n are constant and x is the position of the particle. Now, they are wanting that what is the acceleration of the particle as a function of x. So, you see here the acceleration has a standard expression as v into dv by dx. I am not using dv by dt because you see V has been given as a function of X. So, all you have to do you have to differentiate this expression once with respect to X that is beta minus 2 n will be coming forward and the power will be X raised to the power minus 2 n minus 1 that is dV by dx. Now, you multiply it to V, V expression has already been given to you. If you do the entire thing you will be finding that the most appropriate option is coming out to be the third one that is minus 2 n beta square X raised to the power minus 4 minus 1. This is the answer for this question number 105. Now, let us uh, switch over to question number 106.
Now, in this uh, question 106, which is uh, based on ray optics and that to the prism formula, is a very standard question. If you see the question, it says that the refracting angle, that is angle of prism, is A and refractive index of the material has been given to be cot A by 2. So, they demand what is the angle of minimum deviation. So, if you use the prism formula, it says that uh, refractive index mu, this is equal to sin A plus delta M by 2 upon sin A by 2. This is the standard formula you have. Now, see for refractive index, they are saying it is equal to cot A by 2 and I can successfully write cot A by 2 as cos A by 2 upon sin A by 2, is not it? This is cot A by 2 and that is equal to this is standard thing sin A plus delta M by 2 upon sin A by 2. So, the denominator part is cancelled out and here for cos you can write sin 90 degree minus A by 2. So, ultimately if you compare these two you get 90 degree minus A by 2. This is equal to the entire thing A plus delta M by 2. So, ultimately it is 180 degree minus 2a that will be equal to the mean deviation and for that matter I will be marking option 3 which is saying 180 degree minus 2a and that is the answer to question number 106. Now, let us switch over to question number 107. Now, in this question 107, which is based on simple harmonic motion and the question is very standard one in the sense it has been asked several times in the previous year. It says that a particle is executing single harmonic motion along a straight line. Its velocities are at distances x1 and x2 from the mean position as v1 and v2. You see, this is a kind of question which is expecting from you that you write down the standard relation between the velocity and the position. This is written as omega under root a square minus x square if you remember. Now, here you see two equations you can form and for finally, omega you can write as 2 pi by t. What you can do here is that v 1 square is equal to you can write omega square by a square minus x 1 square and v 2 square is equal to omega square a square minus x 2 square. This is the way you will write. These are the two equations you are forming. Now, you sub subtract these two and put omega is equal to 2 pi by t. Omega is equal to 2 pi by t you are supposed to put. Then that will give you the expression of time period and you will find that this kind of expression which is writing 2 pi under root x 2 square minus x 1 square upon or it can be the other way around also x 1 square minus x 2 square upon v 2 square minus v 1 square. So, here the standard expression will be the third one and that is the answer to question number 107. Now, let us uh, switch over to uh, next question that is question 108. 